of Los Angeles, California. Springtime in Southern California, and what a beautiful night it is. We are just about 15 miles to the west. And our next fight that we will see tonight, it also should be an outstanding rematch. Zahir Gadamikov of Russia versus Jim Mullen from right here in Southern California. All right, Jim has become kind of a crowd favorite here. I mean, he is from the USA, and he's from the Los Angeles area. And he's become very successful with the Dr. Style of fighting. He's doing a real good job. Wow, what a night it should be. We expect this to be a tremendous night of a Draka action. Fighters around the world, they're fighting Draka format now in 61 countries, and I know, Don, and you have fought so many styles over the years. What is it, do you suppose, about Draka that has kind of ignited the fighting community? Well, there's another way to score where you don't have to punch or kick, and that is for a clean takedown. And uh, that's what basically makes the difference. Uh, you can be punching and kicking, doing well, all of a sudden you go up in the air and you land on your back. Well, we'll see exactly what you're talking about. They are set to go. We have a world title on the line now. Here comes from Russia, Zagir Geider Bakov. Zagir Geider Bakov, 22 wins a loss. 10 of those 22 wins coming by knockout. He weighed in earlier at 204 pounds. He is known in Russia as the Mike Tyson of Russia when it comes to Draka. But he had his hands full back on January 3rd right here at the Forum when he suffered the only loss of his illustrious career. And the man he lost to is coming out of the fog here at the Forum here from the United States, is Jim Mullen. 18 wins, one loss. Jim Mullen is the local favorite that Draka has created here in Los Angeles. I mean, he comes with a big crowd. Everybody's on his side. He, he's uh, dominated his fights here, all the fights that he's had for Draka. Uh, the last fight he won, his opponent um, basically said he had an injury, but uh, you know, I think he saw the writing on the wall. Jim, it was Jim's night all the way. It turns back the clock to January. Snyder Pekoff, quick fighting, said he's got a little bit of a problem with his heart. Well, the fight was stopped. Pretty much took the loss in hand, went back home, trained again, and says, now I'm ready. And you wonder, perhaps, Don, is, uh, if he came to America the first time back in January, you wonder really what kind of shape he was in or wasn't in. I wasn't impressed by his performance, but you know what? I, you know, he did say he had an injury, and um, we didn't get to see much of him. I mean, he didn't last long, so anything could happen. I mean, maybe he's got a knockout punch of some kind. I, I don't know. We're about to find out. Let's go now to Steve Watson. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is for the world. Draka heavyweight title in the blue trunks, weighing in at 204 pounds, with a record of 22 wins, one loss, two draws, with 10 of those wins by knockout. He is a two-time world free sparring champion, a 1996 and 97 Draka Cup of Stars winner. He is from Russia, in the red corner, Zigar Ironman, Guy Garbeka! And in the black trunks, weighing in 206 pounds, 18 wins, one loss, no draws, with 12 of his wins by knockout. He is a WKA North American champion, training out of the House of Champions from Simi Valley, California, USA, and the current Draka World Heavyweight Champion in the blue corner, the hometown boy, Jim, Jimbo Murray! is Dr. Nelson Hamilton. Now here comes Jim Mullen, the current Rocker World Heavyweight title holder, 18 wins and a loss, Zagir Gatterbeka, 22 and 1 from Russia, came in here
here in January, all everything. We were told that he would smoke this place. Instead, it was a uh, very lethargic performance, one that uh, led to kind of fake off, calling it quits in the fourth round. Everything plus one. Twelve rounds. Let's do it. Twelve rounds of world heavyweight title action. Thank you. 